Welcome everybody to Our Green Acres and Happy Fall. If you are new to my channel, my name is Teresa. This time of the year, we are about to transition into a new color palette, adding in new textures and elements to carry us through the crisp, cool fall months and possibly into the winter season. So in this video today, I'm going to show you some inexpensive ways you can transform some thrifted items and feature some styling inspiration of how we can decorate our home for the fall season. Hope you enjoy the video and get lots of fall inspiration and decorating ideas for your home. So let's get decorating. The first project that I'm gonna DIY is gonna be three wooden chairs. I love upcycling chairs. I purchased these at a yard sale and I only paid a few dollars a piece for them. I'm going to end up giving these to my daughter because she needs some new chairs for her table. All we did was went over them with some white um, paint with the Critter Spray Painter that I have always linked in my Amazon store. It is a lifesaver, y'all. So if you want an inexpensive spray painter, I highly recommend going and checking out the Critter. We distressed them a little bit, but I want to show you some embellishment ideas that I have come across. I think I saw the idea for this over on Instagram, so I immediately went out to this website called Tablecloths Factory. Now, this is not sponsored in any way, but I love these products, so I wanted to introduce them to y'all. It just gives a little bit of an embellishment to your chairs. She also, you know, offers a lot of other products on her website too, but I'll link her website down below. But y'all, these beautiful beautiful. They're called curly sashes and you can also get a full sash. So I ordered a little bit of both. I just wanted to try them out because y'all, I love to add details to things and just the simplest, most inexpensive embellishment can just take your home decor to the next level. I ordered, um, Two of the pink ones, and right here, I've paired them together just to give them more of a full look, but you, you know, can pair them and put them on your chairs. There's different ways you can style them on your chairs, and on her website, she gives you different ideas of how you can tie them on. Now, if you're planning a outdoor wedding or a wedding of any kind, indoor too, these would be a beautiful detail to wedding chairs, you know, at your reception or at your wedding. I saw these on Instagram, and as soon as I saw them, I thought, I've got to go get some of these. So I'm just going to give you some ideas of inspiration of how we can add some extra detail to our chairs, possibly for, you know, the holiday season and also for fall. These come in over 30 different colors. The next project I'm going to work on is going to be a little thrifted mirror. Now, I featured this in a little thrift haul video that I did over on my Facebook page. So, if you're not over there following me, please go over there and do that because I did my first live last week and got to chat with a lot of you and I really enjoyed it. So, make sure to go over and follow Our Green Acres on Facebook. But y'all can see the mirror was blue. It had a little pearl detail on it. I left all that on there. All I did was I painted over the whole piece in white chalk paint. Then I'm going to use this beautiful clay mold that I got, and I'm going to leave an affiliate link for it down below. But y'all, she is absolutely gorgeous. I did an, a previous project with her. I put her on a pumpkin. I'll try to find that video and link it below. Just giving you more ideas of how you can use this beautiful clay mold. This is called, I think she's Lady with Bouquet, but y'all, she is gorgeous. She's got so much detail to her, but I just, you know, you put my cornstarch in my mold before I got started. I used my brayer to make sure she was in there really good and laying flat on the back. And then she just rolls out. And then I added some tight bond wood glue to the back. And you just want to remove as much excess glue as you can and let her dry. And once she was dry really good, I'm going to go over her with some white paint. And then I'm just going to leave her just like she is and style her for you just so you can see what she looks like all white. We drilled through the hole that was at the top because the previous owner, for some reason, had spackled up both the holes at the top and the bottom. We just drilled the top one back out, and I'm just going to add some really pretty pink chiffon ribbon to this, and this pink chiffon ribbon with some other colors is listed in my Amazon store, and I use this on a ton of projects.
I want to show you another version of her. If you are good with wax, this is a really good clay mold, you know, to add wax to because it really makes her details pop. Um, I did not have any colored wax. The only thing I had was antiquing wax, and I didn't want to make her, you know, dark. But I think some pink wax would have been really pretty. But I did take some fusion pink paint, and I lightly went over her, just brushed the pink paint over her, and then I put a little white wax on top of that. I added a little bit of um, some French writing at the bottom. You know, I always have IOD transfer scraps. So I just got a little scrap um, piece of word that I had and put it at the bottom. And then I embellished it with some vintage fabric. So just a little bit more inspiration and ideas of how you can use this beautiful clay mold. Now another item that I scored at Goodwill is this really pretty metal sign, Faith, Family, and Friends, and I love this, and for some reason, I don't know, this has kind of spoke to me as being fall, because it also reminded me of football, <laughs> and you know, football games and people getting together to watch the games is so much fun in the fall season. So I just chalk painted it, I went around to stress the edges, and that was all I did to this, and now I think this makes a really pretty piece that I can set out on my open shelving in my kitchen. Now the next project is going to be a thrifted piece. I found this at Goodwill, and I see these a lot of times. I think this is just a little base where you can set wine bottles on, and they also, I think they use, I think they can keep them cool too, if I'm not mistaken. But it's kind of like a concrete. I paid 99 cents for it, and I'm, I'm just going to chalk paint it white, and then I went around and I distressed it. Now, it distressed really well because that is just what color the base was, so I just went around the edges, so I think it looks really good. So now I'm just going to go and add a transfer to it. This, I think, is out of the traditional POTS book. I could be, could be mistaken. This could be out of the Brocant book. But I, I always have, you know, scrap transfers laying around, and I'm trying to use them so they don't get damaged. And I'm just going to put that on there. My favorite thing about the fall season, y'all, is pumpkins. I love pumpkins, and I love, you know, doing pumpkin projects. I'm just going to take some very inexpensive, these were some Dollar Tree pumpkin picks. I took the stems off of them, and then I went out to the graphics ferry, and I printed out a sheet of some vintage um, French labels. Now, these are small, so these will fit perfectly on the pumpkin. I soaked them in some coffee just to give them a little bit more of a um, aged look. But look what a difference staining it in that coffee made. You can also use tea. If you're a tea drinker, tea will also work. Now I'm going over it with a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon will give it more of that little aged, little more of a rusty look. So I'm just taking some dry cinnamon. I'm just rubbing it over with my fingers and I'm just working it, you know, just to get it more of an aged look. Now once you get them the way you want them, then we're just going to take them and we're just going to apply them to the front of the pumpkins. Now you can use Mod Podge for this. You can use spray adhesive. You may could use a, you know, um, a glue stick, but I'm using DIY liquid patina to apply mine. And you'll want to work them in those little grooves of the pumpkin the best you can and work out any of the wrinkles as best you can. Now I'm just going over it with my paintbrush, just using the end of it. Sometimes that'll help. And I added some really pretty little glass knobs to the top for the stems. And now I think we got some really cute little French country, little shabby chic pumpkins. And they were from the Dollar Tree.
another great fall decor piece that will be lovely in your home for this season is the roses from rose forever of new york if you have followed my channel for very long y'all know that i have partnered with them for years i have several of their rose bouquets and y'all the thing about them is they are an investment but their roses last for up to over one year they smell just like real roses so this time of the year when all of our beautiful flowers outside are coming to an end we can invest in these bring these into our home and we still have real beautiful flowers for one year and I'm showing you some of the beautiful fall colors that they offer along with a lot of other color selections so they always offer my viewers a $25 off code so I'm going to put the discount code down below in my description box and also a link to their website so I hope you'll go out shop their website and see all the beautiful colors and all the textures and all the shapes you can get these in all shapes and different sizes of boxes these make great gifts for people so if you're thinking of something you know you may need a special gift for someone you know thanksgiving will be just around the corner and this would make a beautiful centerpiece for a thanksgiving you know table and also to carry it as a great hostess gift so make sure to go out and check out Rose Forever of New York and I'll have the discount code and all of their information down below in my description box. The next project that I found at the thrift store this week was this beautiful metal ornate tray. I love the feet on it and I love the handles, but I only paid $4.99 for it. So, I, you know, this right here is beautiful the way it is, but the colors of my home, my wall colors, this just blends right in. It, these type, this type color right here does not go well in my home, but like I say, it's beautiful. So I'm just going to spray paint it white and then I'm going to go around it and very lightly with a sanding block I want to bring out a little bit more of that metal. I don't want any kind of shine to, to show through but I do want some distressing on it. And all I did was apply one of my favorite stencils and I have this linked to my Amazon store. I have used this stencil for years but it is one of my favorites. So just to add a little bit of detail to it and give it more of a little shabby sheet look so I added the stencil to it and now it is ready to display all of my little fall decor and my cute little pumpkins. The next project I'm going to upcycle a little wine rack. Now y'all I do wine racks a lot but my mother watched one of my videos and saw where I upcycled a wine rack and she said I have one do you want it? <laughs> so she had this one in her you know she'd been saving for years and she wasn't using it so I'm just going to take it. I'm going to I am going to take the grapes off of it but I'm going to leave the leaves because the leaves scream fall. So all we're going to have to do to this little cute wine rack is we're just going to go over it I think I used a heirloom white, which is kind of an off-white. I'm just going to spray paint it. And then I'm just going to show you some different ways of how you can style a piece like this if you run up on these at yard sales or thrift stores.
the next piece is another thrifted find, but vases. Vases are great pieces for us to use as fall decor, and you can pick them up at the thrift store, very inexpensive. This one was a little fancier, so it was $4.99, but y'all, we are always for fall and for the winter seasons, we're wanting to display our florals, you know, and more greenery, and vases make a great holder for that. So I'm just showing you some ways of how you, when you find inexpensive vases like this, pick them up and how you can style with them. Another great piece that you can often find at thrift stores that is great for fall decorating is round um, basket trays. Now you can find a lot of times wicker baskets and sometimes if you can find round flat ones, these make great layering pieces and they add so much texture and element to our fall decor. So I picked this one up, I think it was only $1.99. So now it's gonna make a great piece where I can layer a lot of my fall decor on and just add, just like I say, just another of element and texture to the fall season. Now I'm gonna show you a project that's really easy and it's very affordable. And y'all know I love to upcycle frames. So I always have a bunch in my inventory. So I went out, I picked this one out, I gave it a couple of coats of chalk paint and I went really light over it because I wanted some of that dark base to come through to make it look like it was distressed. I cleaned the glass really good and then I went out to the graphics ferry and I searched on vintage tea kettles because I love vintage teacups and tea kettles and then I just printed this one out and I just used an inkjet printer and also just some plain printer paper. Then I cut down a piece of Dollar Tree foam board to the size of my frame. I'm gonna go over it really good with a glue stick and then I'm just gonna attach my little tea kettle to the foam board and then I'm gonna, you know, put it on really good and to smooth out any wrinkles or bubbles, I'm just gonna use a, a brayer. And this is a really good tool when you are applying something and you don't want any wrinkling, just get your brayer out, go over it and it'll smooth it out and make it look really good. Now I'm just gonna put it back into the frame and it fit really tight, but that's good. And now I'm gonna take my brayer, I'm just gonna roll it back over it just to make sure it's fit down in my frame really good. And now we've got a really pretty piece of artwork that was very inexpensive and a lot of fun to make. Now the next project is gonna be another really easy one and very inexpensive. Just pick up one of these little jack-o'-lanterns. They have these, I just saw these at Walmart. I think they were now $1.97. I chalk painted it white and you can, you can paint yours any color that you want. But I think if you got several of these, painted on, these would make great centerpieces for your table. Now my little pumpkin, it was given to me by a friend last year and it's got a little dent in it. I tried to get that out, but I couldn't. So hopefully your pumpkin will not have a dent in the front. <laughs> but I'm just gonna add an IOD transfer. Now you can put a stencil on it or, you know, or something like that, but since it was curved and it had those ridges, I went with a transfer because I felt like the transfer would go on easier for me. Now I'm just gonna give you some styling ideas of how you can take just an inexpensive, little jack-o'-lantern and you can just turn it into something that would be a beautiful fall centerpiece for your home.
Now I want to show y'all another beautiful fall decor piece, and you could even use this. You could use this year-round. This can stay out definitely for Christmas. But this is called the Little Luna Leaves Candle Ring. It's a 10-inch. Y'all, I ordered this. I got it, and I loved it so much, I ordered two more. <laughs> so now I have a set of three because I have some very chunky candle holders and i'll show them to you in just a minute but i thought they would make beautiful candle holders and like i say these will carry me through winter for sure so i'm going to leave an affiliate link down below because i have partnered with vintage b designs she's got a bunch of diy products and she also has a lot of beautiful decor so go out click on the affiliate link i'm going to put below and go out and shop her website these are very affordable and these will go fast. She said that she only has a limited amount of these and I know these will be a quick sell out. So just another great piece that we can add to our fall decor and it wasn't very expensive at all. These were very affordable. I also want to mention on this wreath because I talked to Melissa and I know she got limited quantities of the brown and she can't reorder any more of it. So once it's gone, there won't be any more of it. But she says she has this same wreath in green. So y'all, I know the green would be beautiful too and I may have to get some of the green because green would be gorgeous for fall and also carry us through Christmas. In this video today, I'm trying to show you different textures and different elements that look great in your home for fall or for any season. And these wooden cutting boards right here are no exception. These are at my friend Stevens at Stevens Antiques. And I'm going to leave a link uh, to his um, shop down below. He has an Instagram account. He's also on Facebook. But anyway, he is selling these little uh, cutting boards. They're $10.99 each. I think that is a spectacular price on these. They've even got like little raised up um, feet on the bottom of them. So this right here is a great layering piece. I'm not sure if they're food safe but they they look like they are they look like they're treated so you may could put food out on these but i just thought this was a great rustic piece that would add so much detail to our fall decor this year so like i say i'm going to leave all the links down in my description box below for all the products that you see in today's video but i'm just trying to pair different items that i have you know come across and that i have purchased for my home and i'm just trying to share them with you and give you some styling ideas of how all of these items will fit together and make some beautiful fall decor for your home another great thrift store find were these copper mugs y'all anytime i see copper i pick it up because i absolutely love it and to me it screams fall i love that color it fits well you know so well with all the fall colors that we implement in our home these were 99 cents each so i know that was a great price on these because copper can run up in the money so just another you know element it, it's got metal it's got those beautiful colors so just some more inspiration and ideas of decor that we can put out for the fall season. And also these can go through for the winter. We can drink our hot chocolate in them. Okay, y'all, we are at the end of the video, but make sure to go over and follow me on Facebook at Our Green Acres, and I will see y'all over there doing some lives. And also I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the donators for my super thanks. I truly appreciate y'all and thank you so much. Y'all do not forget to go out and check out Rose Forever of New York because they are running a really great fall sale. So make sure to go out and check all their information down below. A lot of the products in today's video I'm going to have linked below. So there's going to be a lot of links for y'all. I know we covered a lot of decor projects and you know just a lot of you know diys that we can do to our home for the fall season so we can decorate on a budget and not cost a lot of money so i hope y'all enjoyed the video and as always i appreciate y'all i love y'all and i will plan to see y'all next monday in my next video bye y'all